What's going on guys, The Barber Phil here back again with another haircut tutorial and in today's cut we've got a slick back pompadour style skin fade on the sides. We're going to blow dry style the top first and then we will get into fading out that side. I do apologize for uh, some of the footage later on in the video but please stick around as long as you guys can. Hopefully to the end of this video so you can see the outcome. things off by saturating the hair and I'm going to work this comb all the way throughout his hair from front to back making sure that we get all the way down to the roots saturated because I want to be able to see how this hair is going to lay and from there what we're going to do he did want a little bit off I'm going to start in the middle we're going to take just the very tips off which is a quarter of an inch maybe and then we will work towards his right pulling a little bit from the previous section that we just did so instead of working from front to back, I'm kind of going to work from middle to side and then from the middle back to the other side. So we did the center, we're going to do right center over onto the right, and then we will do left center and then over to the left. And that's what I'm doing here is I'm pulling over. Basically what I want is for that, that hair to fall down, down into the weight that we're going to leave up at the top so that this hair just sits in there nice, uh, lays in nice and even. Now what I've done is I've applied a little bit of sea salt spray or just um, volumizing spray or it's a heat protection as well and we've got our vent brush and our Dyson blow dryer and we are just making sure that we're working this brush constantly. You're constantly moving the, uh, the blow dryer through there. You want to over direct the hair in different directions just because you're going back with it doesn't mean it needs to go straight back. I'm blowing some of it up towards the middle a little bit and then I'll blow it, blow it back down. You want to kind of take out that memory in the hair. I am kind of shaking that brush through there and it's really grabbing a hold and, and it's drying it out so that we can go ahead and get some product in there uh, at the end. But it's also giving us a very good indication of what this hair is going to look like when it is fixed. He does fix his hair on the regular so I wasn't worried about uh, you know what it was going to look like in the end. Right there basically I was showing the shape of that weight that we did leave and I messed up here and I actually put the line in with the, the FX's which are a little bit sharper than these detailers. So I came back in, re-tap that line in with the detailers. I'm gonna immediately flick that line out and then from there we can get into fading it out. So this is my cordless senior and this is the Auster fast feed blade. I have that lever all the way open and I'm basically just doing like I've been doing in previous videos. We're starting just below, right in the middle of that bald section and we're just letting that clipper ride along the side of his head and then where it wants to come off at, where his head starts to round, that's where we're letting that, that blade kind of just roll off the head. So this is going to give us a nice open section and then it's also going to go ahead and do a little bit of the blending for us in the, the section just above where we're at here. Up in the front it does get a little bit more of a harsher line I guess if you will. It's nothing that we're not going to be able to take out but based off of the way his hair grew right there it does look as if it's a little bit harsher. We're going to make sure this is a nice clean section kind of bump through there a couple different times make sure that everything is nice and even and then from here we can go ahead I'm gonna do some clipper over comb and most of these uh, sections that I do here we are gonna clipper over comb from uh, from bottom to top which is more of a blending technique I've said it before if you do clipper over comb and you're going from right to left with your clipper across the, the comb that's just removing uh, that's more for removing bulk when you're doing clipper over comb and you're going from bottom to top on these on the teeth of the comb, that's more of a blending technique because what you do is you angle that comb out and the hairs that you hit, it's kind of got a graduation to it as far as the length. So that's what we're trying to do here is just soften this up a little bit at the top and then we can start fading it out from there. So the previous step of the clipper over comb was designed to lighten up and help blend out the top of this darker section up into that weight from the top that's fallen over into it. Now what I've got is the metal magic clip and I've got the wall premium one and a half guard on here 
and we're trying to lighten up the, the bottom of this darker area and that will blend down eventually into the open section that we started with now this is a I didn't label it as a weighted pompadour but especially given the, the darkness of his hair this is going to be more of a there's going to be more of a uh, a weight line there or a darker line there it is faded out that's just how with his hair and then this hairstyle that's just how it ends up uh, playing out but we're going to work at it here i've got the lever open at first just kind of flicking through there and then once you start to notice that your clipper is not cutting hair or not cutting much hair at all don't waste your time continuing to to do it close that lever up just a little bit and allow that hair to actually start getting cut now i've switched over to my cordless senior this has got the uh, the Andy's one guard on there, and we're just flicking just below that initial one guard, one and a half that we did. Now here is the zero guard. I did go ahead and shelf this one because I said uh, that teeth was that tooth was broke, and I actually ended up breaking another one as well. So we've definitely hung that that guard up. Now this is the metal magic clip i have that blade all the way closed no guard on there and we're just kind of bumping out that detailer line that we originally set in once we've gotten that bottom line bumped up just a, a tad bit and that detailer line removed we can start to open that lever up and fade it up into this open section that we previously did We're going to grab the FX's. We're going to go ahead, put in a nice sharp C cup here and then a front vertical bar. And that's really going to bring this fade to life. Uh, a nice C cup, if if the haircut allows for a C cup, if it's not you know too high of a fade where you don't have one, then you know that's fine. That vertical bar can do the same thing. But there's something about the way that a C cup, it just shows the, the graduation in the fade really well. So I always like a nice sharp C cup whenever it is allowed. Now we're going to continue to use those FX's. Go ahead and bald out everything below it. Make sure that everything's nice and clean. And then we can go ahead and move on from there. Now here's where I got to the point where I was going to apologize guys. I don't know what happened. I could have swore that I focused it in on the side of his head, but for whatever reason, this whole side of his head did not get in focus. You can tell the steps that I'm doing. You know, uh, you can tell what guards I'm using. You can tell what clipper I'm using. But for whatever reason, it just did not focus in on his the side of his head. It's more focused in on his forehead. So for that, I do apologize. But I wanted to go ahead and get this out to you guys anyways. I think you guys can learn enough from that, that initial side that was in focus. And then the blow drying technique at first. I'm hoping you guys can take enough away from that, that this video was worth it to at least someone. Well, we went ahead, made sure that we made that line consistent, the bald line with that detailer, kept it consistent with the other side. Now what we're doing is we're coming in, we're using that Oster fast feed blade with it wide open, and we're doing that section where we're just kind of floating it up along the side of his head and then letting it roll off wherever his head starts to round. That'll give us a nice open section. And then of course, right into the clipper over comb, going from bottom to top. Now right there, there was a little bit more weight. So I did start going from side to side, but for the most part, we're, we're gonna be ended up doing a little bit of blending from bottom to top. And like I said, it's all about the angle of the comb. The more you angle that comb out, the less hair you're gonna take off. You know, if you keep it flush to his head, it's gonna keep it's gonna cut all the hair at the same length. So if that makes sense, if you take the comb up through there and you leave it flush to his head, it's gonna cut all that hair to the same length. If you take that comb up through his hair and then you angle the top out, that hair at the top is gonna to be left longer than the hair at the bottom because the bottom of the comb is more flush to his head. So I'm hoping that makes sense. Uh, always keep that in mind. Now this is the Andy's one guard. We're just kind of flicking it up through there, trying to work on the kind of the bottom area of this fade to get it connected to the, the open section that we started with. Now here's a closed, and I, I did go ahead and speed all this side up just because of the blurriness. 
but this is a closed no guard and we're just kind of flicking at that bottom line making sure that we get that nice and uh, and blurred out and then from there we can go ahead do some detail work from that and then we can style the top So this side here was definitely a little bit trickier. Right there in that area where the vertical bar is, his hair, it needs to be a little bit longer even uh, before I took any off, which I didn't take much off in that area. It still needed a little bit more length to be able to really go back with the rest of it without being uh, helped by product. But we came in, we put a nice vertical bar, put a nice C cup in there. Now we're balding them out with the FX's. I'm applying a little bit of the Elegance um, pomade. I'm making sure that we work it on the sides as well as the top itself. We're just wanting to slick it all back, make sure that we get it worked in there nice and even. So after you've styled the hair, sometimes you can see some areas that may need to be touched up a little bit. That's what we're doing here. This is the wall premium one and a half guard. I'm just trying to hit a few of these darker areas in the middle of that fade, just to lighten them up ever so slightly. And then from there, I'm just gonna use my two-sided comb. One side is a fine tooth. The other side is more of a wide tooth. We're gonna use the fine tooth at first just to really work that pomade all the way down to the roots. And then we can use the wide tooth side just to give it a more uh, free flowing look. So here's the before guys, this is definitely a, a tough haircut for the simple fact that the hair is darker, uh, the fades do usually show up pretty well as long as you know what you're doing and you stick to your system, but anytime you've got to leave weight on both sides even and you've got the whole top going back, it's always a little more difficult to make sure that you do leave enough weight to let that hair fall into and for it also to be blended and there not to be a, you know, a huge shelf through there. So guys, take a second, hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what you thought about this tutorial. Hopefully it helps somebody. Consider subscribing if you're new. Enable those notifications. That way you never miss another video from me. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. And until the next video, guys, I appreciate it. And I do apologize for that blurry content. We will get better.